All right, guys, this video is for Brian over at Got Fuels Model Car Garage. This is his workspace challenge, and this is my workspace. We're going to be on shaky cam, guys, so sorry it's not going to be entirely steady. That's it. That is all the space I have to work in. Normally, when I'm filming or when I'm working... I'll tuck the keyboard back underneath here. I'll stick the mice somewhere else. Like up here on the shelf of doom. You know, there's just various stuff back there. Bottle caps. These are great for holding glue or paint. And that's about all that's of any actual modeling value there. We have my Altoid tins that I'm Use, I attach things with uh, double-sided sticky tape for painting. Medicine bottles. A lot of us guys are on medication as we get older. Keep the bottles, especially the big ones. They're great for holding things like Q-tips and toothpicks. I have a whole bunch of these small little Tamiya jars after I uh, use up the Tamiya. Or I put it in my other jars. I'll show you those in a minute. I'll do things like I've got a jar with IPA. So if I need to strip paint off of a small part, I just throw it in there. Um, bleach for small chrome parts. You know, stuff like that. With a fish tank with no fish. What else do we got? box of flat stuff, um, bare metal foil, sanding sponges, sandpapers, aluminum soda can, great stuff for scratch building, micromesh, you know, flat stuff that I can store in here, don't really have anywhere else for. A couple of hobby zone things, this is my work computer, it's always in the way. This thing is absolutely invaluable. The pliers and stuff go in here, sanders, files, paintbrushes, all sorts of stuff go in here. Uh, the back row has larger holes, good for holding extracto knives, tape, you know, small bottles, glue. Tammy Extra Thin stuff goes really well here, and it, these sit perfectly in this little cubby there we've got like wire and detailing materials stuff like that uh, more detailing materials and my paint sticks my collection of flocking seat belt stuff this is the random photo etch drawer of doom which is all photo etch and details aftermarket like 3D decals, stuff like that. Absolute mess. Various tools like my uh, pin vise, my drill bits, wire strippers, T strainer for flocking. Get your own T strainer, guys. Do not use your wife's T strainer. Uh, my Tamiya lacquer thinners, some paintbrush cleaner oh. Molotov pen refill I like this stuff rather than the pens because I can just brush paint it that's gonna take us over to storage which this is a nightmare of random crap um, mesh wire double-sided sticky tape scissors Hose, more wire, water-based acrylics, well mostly water-based acrylics. There are some other things in here like some of these pearl powders, some extra Tamiya. I'm going to try, on the Dino that's coming up, I'm going to try some of this embossing powder for, instead of flocking. 
chapstick when I clean my airbrush. I'll rub a little chapstick on the threads when I put everything back together. But for the most part, this is water-based acrylics. Then we get into all the Tamiya acrylics. The top of this thing is more random junk. Bunch of photo etch. A very recent photo etch that I just haven't moved where it's supposed to go. Tire valves and stuff like that. Big drill bits. Need to go back in my toolbox. Some more Tamiya colors for the, uh, the panel line accent color. I got the brown and the dark brown. So yeah, just random, random crap. Primers. I've been using these two a lot, Mr. Surfacer Black and the Tamiya Surface Primer, Primer in the jar. Then these with Mr. Leveling Thinner, 50-50, 60-40, they're both fantastic. A bottle of Sprue Goo. Yeah, my Tamiya Lacquers which I take out of little jars and put them in these and just strip the labels off and put the labels on. But I can hold two to three jars of Tamiya lacquer plus two to three jars of lacquer thinner in one of these little jars. Also have my Steinle Res primers, which I'm getting away from. I'm really liking this Mr. Surfacer a lot more lately. This here is all gravity colors, zero paints, splash, um, and some of these um, AK Extreme Metals, which I don't use very often. And finally, we have our Alclads and our Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color, which these are the same bottles as I use for the Tamiya. I do the same thing. I take the Mr. Color Super Metallics. I empty them in here. I'll then take the jar and I will fill the jar back up. Like this is my jar. I would empty it in there. I would then fill it back up with Mr. Leveling Thinner, shake it up, stir it up with the Badger Paint Mixer, get all the paint as I can out of it, and then pour that in here too, and that gives you about a 50-50 mix. And I do have some of this E7 in here. This is a really nice gold for, for wheels. You want that like BBS gold, that's a really nice gold for, we for wheels like that. And some of these Mr. Color Crystal Colors, which we will be experimenting with one of these on the upcoming Dino. <clears throat> From there we get into tools. Uh, the finale video that's coming out Saturday is going to talk about this little doodad, which I got from Matt over at Model Car Videos. It's a very cool little toy. Uh, white glue. These are all various pliers from jewelry making which come in very handy. My display circle cutter. Some more of that uh, UV glue. Just random tools. Uh, this is Mr. Surfacer. There's some random tools in here like my chisel set and a whole lot of scratch building materials. Uh, plastic rod, aluminum rod, stuff like that is just kind of in there because I got nothing better. My little cutting jig for cutting these things. Next we have polishing compounds and waxes. Uh, there's some McGuire's in there that's getting really old. The uh, Turtle wax is so old it has turned brown on the top. 
Uh, I really like these foam wheels. You can get those off Amazon for like 10 bucks, but they're really good. The orange is coarse, the yellow is medium, the black is fine. They're good for polishing using a Dremel. And I have both the Novus compounds as well as the Tamiya compounds. And I have to say, I really like the Tamiya compounds better. And the final drawer down here is absolute random crap. Um, these suck. If you're getting one of these, don't get the one that has this thing because it doesn't stay tightened on your head and it always falls. Um, heat shrink tubing, some fiber optic cables, my extensive spare drill bits. These are all, this is like 20.6 millimeter drill bits because I go through them so often. Um, and these are 0.3s because I go through those so often. Yeah, just random junk in there. Brian, I'm a little mad at you, brother. You made me have to clean this corner out. This corner's normally stacked like this high with crap. Uh, my rig for my phone for my recording more photo etch goodies you've seen this in the Chevelle build mostly all protect stuff wire for spark plugs you got about five different colors there and enough wire to last you for years um, Chris sent me from CD scale model sent me the micromark catalog and this is all this is acetate and do-it-yourself decal material. I've got uh, sheets of white and clear. And that tub at the bottom is just jewelry making supplies from when I used to make jewelry. Sometimes that comes in handy. Then up here, the Dino's coming up. I've got to record the unboxing, then I can get started on it. This is my project box. So I'll put my body or my chassis in here, parts go up in here, larger parts go in this one, and stuff like that. Keeps everything clean and organized while I'm working on it. And from here we're going to go check out the spray booth area and we'll be done. Alright guys, this is the spray brush area in the garage. This is the Pace 24 inch Mini Plus. We've got the blower there, we've got some four inch hose, it just runs out to the to the out there, so vent all the stuff away from me. I have added in some just LEDs from Amazon, they run all the way across. I put some paper up here, it helps to kind of diffuse this a little bit so it's not just blinding, because that can get, because that's right at eye level for me, and it's just about camera level, so it messes up the white level, It's it can be a pain. This is pretty cool. Just use a standard home AC vents. Um, you just pick these up wherever. You don't have to have any special stuff. Unlike the one that they use over in Europe that everybody loves, the really expensive spray booth that has to have its own custom filters. These you can just get anywhere for a couple of bucks. Get the cheap ones. We have my airbrushes. We have my Badger Patriot with a 0.5 mil needle which I use for primer and clear. And we have the UMP Apex, which is 0.35 millimeter. Some just hard, cheap ass hardware store lacquer thinner is great for cleaning anything out, just about anything. Water-based acrylics it does not like, but anything else you can clean out with lacquer thinner. And then we got the El Cheapo Special Master Chinese Spray Compressor. Along with my respirator. I've spoken with 3M's tech support and the 60923's are P100 filters that work for uh, 2K Clear. They say they're rated to handle 2K Clear. And so that's going to be it. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for my workspace for Brian's workspace challenge. 
maybe you saw something useful to you or something you might want to look into on yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep modeling, and I'll catch you on the next one.